All right, we're back with another episode of Watch and Shoes. Watch and Shoes. There's the watch. Seen it before. This is the Octane from Invicta, 48 millimeter. Diamond bezel. Ruby hour markers. If you could check out the second hand at the three o'clock hour. The closer you look at this watch, the more details you'll see in it. The second hand is a gear. So one big full gear going around, they put one dot on the gear and that is, serves as the second uh, marker, the pointer. And that dot makes one full rotation and that's one minute. But it's just a cool way to make a, a, a second hand. Just put a dot on a gear and make it go around. So as is usually the case with Invicta, they will go the extra mile. You know, I mean, diamonds and rubies is already crazy exotic but they wanted to go further and uh, that's what made me really want to get this watch and finally acquire it okay speaking of details the closer you look if you haven't figured out already this is an elephant hide and the closer you look at this material <clears throat> the skin on this elephant the more you'll be impressed. It's like pretty amazing armor. This is not the type of shoe that you have to worry about getting anything on. That is absolute armor. You don't have to worry about scratching it. Or, oh, I ruined my leather. I scratched it. The, the, the marks. I could do this for two hours. You won't see a mark on it. <laughs> then I, we're using real fingernails. There's not too many leathers that you can just scratch like that and not leave uh, a mark for the duration of your shoe, for the duration of the time you own it at least. So this is quite unusual, it's uh, not ever been sold that I'm aware of um, in the US, or at least I've never seen it in any of the shopping malls and department stores. And I've been roaming them for 20 years now as a truck driver, I've never seen elephant hide for sale I didn't get this in the US I got it in Africa um, in the US we have a relationship with the elephant which is based on it being imprisoned for its entire life so you can imagine through ignorance when they say ignorance is bliss you can imagine that the elephant is extremely blissful creature like Dumbo really happy creature because it's never free and it'll never get to show you how much it loves you but in Africa uh, my relationship with the elephant is elephant uh, stepping into your path while you're in a Range Rover or a Land Rover and daring you to come near it. And that elephant is an excellent communicator. It looks you right in your eye and it lets you know, I dare you to come, come close enough to me. I dare you to try to continue on this path. And it stands in your way for 15 minutes if it has to until you comprehend who's in charge. And then it walks on. Very intimidating beast. I mean, whoo. Uh, we're in a Land Rover, Range Rover, and we've got bullets the size of my hand. And we don't dare get any closer to that elephant. And if you spend any time in Kenya or other African nations, You've probably run across people who have been gored by an elephant. I used I asked the guy, how in the world does an elephant catch people? Wouldn't wouldn't you just outrun an elephant? And uh, you'll never get a bigger laugh from a Maasai by asking such a stupid question. But he, I, of course, we don't have the experience in the U.S. Um, ignorance, so he explained to me that the elephant doesn't run you down. It actually walks up on you, and you don't hear it because of the padding and the style of its feet and then it sh sh blasts you with the horn I mean with the, uh, the trumpet sound which you freeze because it's monstrous and when you freeze it gores you with this horn with the tusk but in Kenya I saw multiple people with horrific wounds um, asking for any kind of assistance that you can give them in the US you see a lot of people walking around perfectly healthy asking you for money in Africa, the 
the people that I saw were hanging signs on exposed ribs because the elephant had pulled the rib out of their own body. Um, obviously, this is not the whole of Africa. Obviously, this is an example of an extreme elephant attack. Uh, many people are just killed by the elephant, but when they survive, there's no way for them to take care of their farms and the, or the things they were trying to protect, usually crops. So they're at the mercy of people willing to assist them. So the, the, the relationship with the elephant varies is all I'm trying to say. So before you get on your Dumbo hat and loving, hugging, snuggling up to elephant hat, um, comprehend that the relationship with the elephant is different. And there's two types of elephants, one from India, one from Africa. An African elephant is not the Indian elephant. In Thailand, I was offered rides on elephants. In Africa, I've never been offered a ride on an elephant. And if you are, that elephant has probably never been free. It's been caged and or they're fooling you with an actual Indian elephant. <laughs> because you're not going to ride those elephants I saw in the Serengeti ever. They're crystal clear. They don't play around. And if you're not aware, you should do a Google search on elephant uh, kills water buffalo. And you can see an elephant pick up a water buffalo. And in the U.S., we're not aware of how powerful the water buffalo is. So to find out that, you can go to a video that says water buffalo, lion, alligator. Check those videos out. There's very few animals as fierce as a water buffalo. I didn't know that until I went to Africa and saw one firsthand. He gave me the same stare that the elephant gave me, which was, I'll kill you <laughs> if you give me the slightest opportunity. Fierce and hella mean. One mean, mean, mean looking stare. But, uh, so please take that in, into consideration before you attack that notion of anyone having an elephant hide. I told you about my leopard print valley shoes and the person selling them to me in the department store um had a bunch of shade for me and a mean uh bad attitude because she thought they were real genuine leopard and they were actually cowhide with a leopard print i also had a necklace that uh, a woman called the police on me because i had falcon claw necklace in the u.s if you don't know they call the police on african-american men as I mean, it's just like for fun. But the sad part is the police are delighted to come and harass you. That's, that's what's sad about it. Um, I was actually kicked out of a concert uh, for, uh, it was a Dave Chappelle concert and Mighty Most Deaf at the time, now he's called Yasin Bey, but he did a surprise pop-in visit to a small mini concert. The people behind me wanted me to sit down and not clap for, for most deaf and being the conscious rapper that he is you know, I mean there's no way you can sit down if you have any bit of sense because he's saying some pretty powerful statements in his lyrics so in me standing up and 50 people in there stood up also who comprehended that what a treat it was to have uh, mighty most deaf at the time um, we were all standing up and clapping but for whatever reason the people behind me called the police on me <laughs> inside of a concert and the police removed me. I had to explain to him that that person on stage was like Elvis for him to comprehend um, the magnitude of why I'm standing up and showing the utmost respect and applauding as the people behind me should have been doing. But once he heard that, he actually escorted me back into the concert um, to the surprise of the Caucasian sitting behind me. Um, and I got to finish the concert because if that was Elvis or anybody they actually knew, they would be standing up too. But um, so please don't call the police is what I'm saying. <laughs> this elephant shoe was purchased in Africa. So this elephant hide shoe purchased in Africa. The relationship with the elephant is a little bit different in Africa, especially if you grew up around the elephant <clears throat> or you have any experience with the elephant. I wouldn't suggest making fashion out of this. I delight in the fact that I've never seen anyone in the United States wearing it. So. Uh, uh, unlike a lot of people wearing Jordans or other versions of shoes where you go to the mall and 28 people in the mall have on your shoe, I'm weird. So I like the idea of going to the mall and no one having my shoe. So this shoe gets the shoehorn award. No bull was hurt in the production of this shoehorn. This is a bull a horn. It was purchased in the U.S. 
So, also, very legal. Don't call the police on me. Uh, this was purchased outside the U.S. No, we don't have this in the U.S. I've been in a million department stores, uh, lots of luxury stores um, in various cities. I just, I've never seen an elephant hide shoe. Uh, this is just armor. I mean, you can really tell how well protected God made this animal. I mean, it's amazing. You can scratch this all day long. It leaves absolutely no mark. Our puny little scratching nails are nothing to this elephant skin. The closer you look at the skin, kind of like that octane watch, the more you'll see. And the cool part about this shoe is actually zooming in close and, and checking out the detail of what that is, elephant skin. It is a bizarre armor but it's 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 like impenetrable so this shoe you would never have to worry about spilling any milk on it <laughs> you never have to worry about kicking the curb and leaving a mark it's just absolutely an impenetrable material so you now I wouldn't do this with the leather bellies that I just showed you in a previous video um, but this is a shoe that just, I don't see it changing anytime in the near future. Uh, that skin is, is magnificently well constructed by God. It's, as you can see, I mean, it's leather. It leaves absolutely no change whatsoever. Um, there's no way to alter it. <laughs> Just a magnificent shoe, and that's why it wins the Shoe Horn Award. Exotic leather shoes, this is Watch and Watches. I think I spent enough time on this shoe. Not much else to say about it. <clears throat> the person who produced it is Hannock Naturals in South Africa, or at least that's where I got it in South Africa. Um, just a marvelous shoe. I put that shoe on, get out of my way. <laughs> Honestly, yesterday I was thinking my attitude may have changed. I, I, I ran into two people who annoyed me and I got vocal with them. I said, I wonder if this shoe has something to do with that. They were way too close and they were going the opposite direction while I'm going down the clothes aisle looking through my size clothes. I'm like, you got two inches away from me and you're going in the opposite direction I'm going. Uh, Maybe it was the shoes. Maybe that's just dumb. I told them that's not cool. Get out. Get away from me. <laughs> maybe you can leave a comment in the just description. Uh, maybe I was at fault there. All right, that's it. Thirteen minutes. Just talking about an impenetrable shoe. Amazing hide. Just call it no change. Nothing changes on that shoe. Thank you for watching another episode of Watch and Shoes. And that one gets the Bullhorn Shoehorn Award.